Hey everyone, so today's video is a foundation routine, so if you're interested in how I get ready, not every morning because I don't wear makeup every day, but I guess on the days that I do wear makeup um, from like concealer, primer, foundation, bronzer, all of that stuff, then keep on watching. So yeah, this is pretty frightening. My face, as you can see, White, but I figured since I'm breaking out so badly that this would be a good time to do a foundation routine. As you can see, I have all these little bumps on my face. Um, it's the price you pay for falling asleep with your makeup on, which I did. Um, I know, it's totally bad. I ran out of makeup wipes. We came back from Disney and I still had to feed Lane and dinner and pick up around the house. And I ended up just falling asleep with, with makeup on. So yeah, why I'm going into that, I don't know. Um, I have already moisturized my face just because I like to do that as soon as I get out of the shower. Before the water all completely evaporates that way, I'm really locking in moisture into my face. Um, so for that, I use the Kors Wild Rose Serum, the moisturizer, and then my under eye cream is the Bobbi Brown extra repair cream which if you haven't tried this before I really recommend it I absolutely love it especially if you have little lines under your eyes just because it helps kind of fill those in um, there's some luminosity to it and almost has kind of like a thicker consistency so it works as a primer as well so the first thing why am I yelling I always yell I'm gonna go ahead and use a foundation primer the three that I've been using the most lately is the Benefit Professional, the Laura Mercier, and the Smashbox. Just because my face has been really dry lately, I've really been enjoying the Laura Mercier just because it's a more like watery texture. It's moisturizing as well. And this is just the little deluxe size sample tube. As you can see, I kind of use quite a bit, but it's just because my cheeks have been so dry. And I don't know. I'd figure since my skin's so dry, these pimples would dry up as well, but I don't know if it's just irritating them even more or what the deal is. So I just rub this all over my face. I was just using the tinted moisturizer, but since I have these crazy breakouts, I feel like I need something with a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay. I bought this in combination oily skin. I don't know why. I did it on accident and this is too dry for my skin so I like mixing it. For that I use the Elizabeth Arden Let There Be Light. It's just a radiant skin lotion. So I'm just going to get some of this onto the back of my hand. Oh and I'm just in 180 Sand Beige. When I first put it on it kind of looks like a little bit too dark but I had my previous bottle um, which I never even finished but it just I think expired and I don't know I was scared to use it. That one was too light so this one's a tad too dark. I probably should just get the two and mix them. Also on camera I look way lighter than what I really am. So as you can see I have the two products here. Um, first I'm just going to pick up on my brush and dab on that moisturizer around my face. As you can see it kind of has like a pinky tone that's just the little iridescent shimmer showing through and then I'm gonna pick up some of the foundation as well I don't like applying this all over my face at once just because I feel like it's a drier foundation I like to work with it in sections so I'm just gonna start on my cheek I feel like the color stay alone is too much of a matte finish for my skin and like I said it's too drying so with this lotion mixed with it you can tell it, can, it kind of gives more of a glow rather than just one flat color so I like to let that set just a tiny bit sometimes I'll go in with my Sigma F50 and just swirl it around just to buff it in even a little more With any other foundation, I almost always just use my fingers, but <laughs> but with the color stay, I do like using a brush. Okay, so as you can see, my blemishes are still peeking through. I honestly haven't had this many pimples at once, I don't think ever. They're absolutely awful. Using the studio finish, I'm just going to go in with a concealer brush. And first, just do a little spot cover.
I have so many on this side of my cheek, and this one by my eye is driving me nuts. Okay, now for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the HD Advanced Concealer by Milani, and it's just one of the little click pens, and I believe I got mine in light. Oh, one, yeah. So I'm just going to take a bit of this. Okay, hold on. Make little kitty whiskers. <laughs> Just anywhere that I want a little lightness and brightness. Okay, now that I have that on my eyes, I'm going to be just using the classic Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I just have mine in translucent. I'm going to use this to set the concealer on my eye. I've been using a different powder every day. Um, if we're going to be out for a long period of time, I go with my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. But today I'm just going to be running a couple errands with Keegan and Landon. So I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And I'm in 120. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. So now I'm just going to be taking a powder brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder F30. So it's just a big round brush. Just swirl it around in the product and just give my face a light dusting. For my bronzer, I use something every day. Sometimes I use my Sleek Contour Kit. I have a Clinique bronzer, my NARS Laguna. Um, but in my last video, I mentioned that the Lancome Star Bronzer was one of my favorites for right now. So I'm just going to be using this with... This is just the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I get this and pop it into the hollows of my cheek and then also kind of followed up with the C motion around my brow. The NARS Dan Mari palette, and I'm just going into the colors, I believe I use doo -doo -doo -doo, Orgasm and Desire. So this really bright hot pink, and then just the really nice shimmery classic color from NARS. So now I'm using the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40, and I'm just gonna dip it into both products. And apply this onto the apples on my cheeks and sweep it back. For highlight, I use my matte cream color base in pearl. As you can see, I have barely any left. If I have any excess on my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder in Brighton. I don't use my spiked pencil for my brows, then I use my Milani Brow Kit, and I'll just go in with a stiff angled brush. Today I'm just using an, an Eco Tools one, and dip it into both colors, and just fill in any sparse areas of my brows. Let's take a random spoolie and just brush them out a bit. And that's pretty much it for my foundation routine. Nothing special. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.